Well, good afternoon, everybody. Linda Ray, Texas Girls Farm. And it is hot, especially out here in the sun. So, update today. Um, let's see. Bathroom. All, walls all done. Ceilings will start tomorrow. This, I'm going to work on this, and then we're going to see how many boards we have left it's going to go up around the top there which will be gray and then they finished they finished <coughs> excuse me and they had to come in here and put this piece so they had to pop my piece off so i have to put that back up but i got all this this done all around there and I'm not for sure if I'm going to go ahead and pull a piece or if I'm going to get some of the wood and put up here we'll see because that's going to be trimmed out in the metal and some of the the uh, blue boards that I have left over and hang on and I'm going to go upstairs so they got this bedroom all finished. The only thing that everything needs is the ceiling, which they're going to work on tomorrow, and trim, which then that becomes on me. But <clears throat> dust is flying around. As you can tell, my pile has dwindled down. And there's our wall. Gray, and I left some of the brown. And I don't know you really can tell what it really really looks like gray down at the bottom that's a better color right there of how the camera focused in so I got right above the window with that one piece right there and as you can see that line they came and snap it was unlevel on this side so I turned it over to them they put up the um, laser level, and they've got up one, two, and a half, so they're on their third uh, run. So with all the diagonal cuts that are fixing to come, I just said, y'all can do it. Yeah, make it a whole lot easier. So um, leave me some suggestions of what you think that faux beam that we're going to put there what color it should be stained because it'll probably be the same color that we stain of the one that's going to go straight through the middle. And he's going to try to get an estimate on um, the um, uh, metal today. And um, he's trying to get me an estimate on some cabinets. He's got, he said he's got some other friends, but I like it. Um, it's a little different. I like how the grays, the light, the slate grays come in. Um, yeah, it's everything that um, I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, I I had most of it done by, well, I, all the way up to that point at like, um, I think it was 2 o'clock. And I went in, I finally took a break. I should have probably taken a break before because if I had taken a break before, Maybe I wouldn't have had, I only had to pop one board off, but they got it level, and um, um, I've still got some stain. I'm going to get some stainable caulking and some of the bigger pieces, like, um, you can barely tell it, but I see it, and I don't like it. Right through there, you can see the studs, so I'll put a little bit of caulk in there, but I think once it all gets done... Um, it's really when you walk in and I'll take a shot of it from downstairs. It needs to be just a little bit higher, but uh, I'll walk down there and give y'all a shot. So this is going to be the view for when you, um, walk in the door and, you know, uh, have the wood all the way up there, which, um, the... Uh, 
the dust is flying around everywhere. But uh, where the the handrails for upstairs and the I don't know for the stairs are all going to be um, cedar. So um, hopefully that'll all tie in. I do have still the strip that needs to come all the way around, which um, I can get that done. That's no biggie. I'll just have to cut um, some of those two befores up a little bit and finish that off. And then just waiting on the metal because you can't really do anything else until we get the metal for this down here and the chair railing down here. And there's dust everywhere. I mean, just everywhere. So I'm actually going to... It's only, I think, uh, 4 o'clock or something like that. I'm going to go in and rest for a minute. And then I'm going to fix this door. And then go out and let the animals out for a while. I'll probably do that about 5.30. And um, I've already swept. Probably could clean a little bit better. But anyway, there's where we're at and I uh, can't wait to get the metal on the roof um, get the ceilings in I think once we get that done I can call the electrician and the plumber and let them know hey fit me in ready so hopefully they can get back over here so I'll pick y'all back up when I come out here to take care of the animals when it cools off a little bit well Everybody's put up for the night. Them two. I don't know why they started getting up there. But they have. <laughs> some on that roost bar. We'll have some on this roost bar in a minute. There's some inside the... And I don't think anybody's been going in there. And there's a light that comes on in there. Yeah. Got everything watered. So. And they've been holding out. I had 11, leg, 11 <laughs> eggs today. So... I'm going to go up and um, finish watering up around there. I'm not going to water a lot, just a little. And, um, man, go in and call it a day. So if you've enjoyed the videos, um, think about coming over and subscribing to the channel. And hit that like button and leave us a comment. We sure would appreciate it. And, um, and <clears throat> Junior up there. But the American Beauty Berries, they're starting... To die back, um, we need some rain. Um, but, um, yeah, dogwoods are starting to change colors. I hope y'all enjoyed the pictures that my son sent to me from Connecticut yesterday. They were so pretty. There's nothing like the changing of the colors of the leaves up in the northeastern part of the United States. And I sure do appreciate, and I'm glad I was able to share that with y'all. So with that said, I hope y'all have a good evening. Tomorrow i got to run some errands, so I'm not for sure if uh, I'll make a video or not. It, it depends on how far along they get with the ceilings and with the, the wall. If they finish that wall, which they should, because I think they're going to do that first. I'll probably make uh, some kind of short video just letting y'all know. And he's wanting back in. So let me let him in. And y'all have a good night.